Do you guys hear that sound? That's the sound of God crying. Quite a bit. He must have just watched a Subaru commercial. You guys like my shirt? It says meow a bunch of times. Because I like cats. And I meow a lot. Like anytime I see a shirt with a cat on it, or like a bag. Anything really. I feel the need to buy it. And if I have the money, I will. I probably shouldn't keep rationalizing that, but it makes sense. I just saw some lightning. <sighs> so I gotta go pick up some money so I can drop it off. So I can pick up some drugs tomorrow night. And, uh, I may or may not have to work tomorrow. That'd be cool if I didn't. So then I could just write jokes. I'm glad I took a break from comedy. I wish that more people would take breaks from comedy. I wish that more people would take breaks, period. You know? I think that people's material would be better. And I'm not just talking about comedy. You know, just artists, entertainers. Like, if all the entertainers that are on Late Night right now could just take a break, possibly permanently, so I guess it wouldn't be a break, they would just be quitting or giving up. They've already given up anyway, since all they're doing is pander. But... If people are in their 20s, I can understand pandering. Because when you're in your 20s, all you care about is your stupid image. It's a lot like being two years old. Especially considering the vast amount of temper tantrums that these motherfuckers throw on a regular basis. But once you get into your 30s, possibly 40s and 50s, there's no excuse to constantly pander. There's no excuse to go along with the status quo. Because hopefully at that point, you realize that the status quo is stupid. Now, I know that I'm very judgmental, but that's like my job. My job is to judge people, but I have to judge them all the way. Not just for one thing, in the way that's most convenient, you know? Like, I think that being a comic is all about looking at things from different perspectives. And so I feel like I'm, I'm succeeding in that regard. And for those of you that say, are you really? You seem, that you, you seem to, to be very supportive of what's his face. That's just because nobody else is, hun. It's just, uh, it's very counterculture. And in case you haven't noticed, I'm not too big a fan of this culture. So it makes perfect sense why the one motherfucker that pisses off everybody makes me smile you know especially like being a comic I don't understand why people are so mad it's like you're not much of a comic if you're not like finding the humor in this situation you know it's like all this stuff that what's his face does I don't even want to say his name anymore I keep saying I'm not gonna say his name but I keep saying his name so I'm sorry vortex I'm sorry that I failed you but here's the thing like people are constantly bitching about about uh, said president and uh, already said enough times president people are bitching about him constantly and it's not changing anything right especially with comics when comics are bitching about it that's the worst because they're literally supposed to find the humor in the situation so like anytime that he says or does something that is just ridiculous i have to laugh about it because it's hilarious like when he became the president oh my god so i didn't know that he was the president for like three days I was told that he was the president by like this this 16 year old chick that I worked with 
because I didn't have the internet in my house, so I had no idea what the fuck was going on. Other people were telling me what was going on. But what was funny is that I already knew. I already knew he was gonna get elected. And when she told me that, she was like, yeah, he got elected president. I was like, oh my God, that's amazing. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. I fucking knew it. I called it. And uh, I could not stop laughing for like 20 fucking minutes. I was like, oh my God, this is awesome. <laughs> And, uh, I just find it so amusing that, I don't know, like, people are mad. But I'm like, well, this is what happens. This is what happens whenever you have a stupid-ass culture that you subscribe to more than you subscribe to integrity. Then you get somebody like him. So... You know, I keep telling myself, don't talk about the president. Don't talk about the president. Guess what I'm talking about. See, I need to stop telling myself that. What if I told myself, we're just going to make political videos and that's all we're going to do. Then I'll finally stop talking about politics. You know? I, I just want to write other jokes. I want to I wanna say other things. But it's just so hard not to speculate because it's just constantly like in your face, you know? But if it's not in your face, like, with the media, it's in your face at the grocery store. It's in your face with music, movies, like, everything. Everything's fucking political. You know, there's subliminal messages in all the art. Well, is it really art, though? If it's just, like, pandering to what the status quo is, it's not really art, if you ask me. But why do you think they keep making all these, these movies about superheroes and shit. Like, they've been doing this shit for a while now. I'm trying to think of, like, when when they really started to, like, uh, only make movies about superheroes. Because there seems to be a dramatic surge in the number of superhero movies that have been made. And they're all the same shit. You know, I have, like, the Avengers and Captain America and... I mean, Captain America, that's fucking offensive now, right? What's it gonna be? Like, Captain Planet? Captain... Captain Universe? You know, because... <laughs> America's... America's offensive. Just saying that word pisses people off. Especially people that live here that have no idea how good they've got it. Now, there are plenty of people that don't have as much of an opportunity as other people. Because of their living situation. And for people that think that, oh, equal opportunity, equal opportunity. Well, you know, there is opportunity, but to say that it's equal is, is, is ridiculous. I personally believe that equality doesn't exist in America. Like, people are not treated equally, but you can't force that. So they need to stop pretending that they can. Because you can't control how people are treated. You can't control how people think about other people. That's literally impossible. Unless like you get in somebody's head and try to like fix the brain like like clockwork orange type shit. You know, so let's not get to that point, folks. Let's not get to that point. I think that I have valid points to make. But people will get mad. Because what I say is too right, you know? It's just too right. <laughs> That's it? <laughs> You're just too motherfucking right about everything. No, but like, why would you get mad if I lie? If I lie, you could just say, she's lying. That bitch is full of shit. Whenever you get under people's skin, whenever you grind people's gears, whenever you hit a nerve, it's always because there's an element of truth to what you're saying. The people that lie all the time, those are people that never really have to take responsibility for anything. Anyway, 
Lack of responsibility, that's the biggest problem in this country. I don't know how it is in other countries. But I do know this country in particular has a responsibility problem. Now, For those of you that say, well, what about this president? I get onto this president too. If he doesn't fucking own what he says and does, I get I get the fuck onto him. Nobody is immune, Vortex. Nobody is immune. I can't stand it when people don't take responsibility. That's a personal pet peeve of mine. Let's see how much we still have. $325.65. Woohoo! Let's try not to fuck with it. It'd be almost impossible. Um, but, uh, and my biggest pet peeve is, is like, you know, when people don't take responsibility. And my other, well, second to biggest pet peeve is when people are hypocritical about that. And they want, they want you to be accountable, but they're not accountable. They want you to apologize, but they'll never fucking apologize for shit. And my third biggest pet peeve is pet peeve. <laughs> Fuck pet peeves, right? Just the term pet peeve, it's dumb. It's like, this is my little pet annoyance. <laughs> like, I sometimes I walk my annoyance on a leash. <laughs> I have to change my annoyances litter box every fucking day. Our cats really are annoying though. But that's what makes them so awesome. They're annoying and they don't give a fuck. I got into this like huge argument with this coworker of mine about cats. And uh, he was telling me that like as a species, like they're just terrible. And I'm like, fuck you, dude. Like, that's fucked up. This guy was black, too, and I was like, how would you feel? <laughs> like, if somebody said, like, all black people are, are stupid or incompetent or whatever the fuck, well, how do you think that makes cats feel? You know, when you, you just assume that they're all shitheads. But I, I get where he was coming from, though. Like, I think some people just don't like certain animals, you know? I like all animals. Even if they're fucking shitheads. At least they're not human like even when i meet really annoying yappy dogs it's always really annoying yappy women they're typically feminists that have these these dogs surprisingly right uh but um uh it's still better than human way better than human because they're not talking they're not like using like human language oh shit five oh what the fuck was the point of that, man? He's like, I gotta get to wherever I need to go. It's really important, it's really important, it's really important. They're just so easy to make fun of because they just think they're so cool with those fucking blue lights. <laughs> There's like nothing going on in this town. That's why I make fun of that because there's nothing going on. So those sirens are completely unnecessary. He just used those sirens so he could go through that red light. He's probably going to fucking Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> That's a stereotype right there. Cops like donuts, especially jelly donuts. Shout out to you if you're a good cop. I'm sure you're not watching this channel. <laughs> good cop. You know, the good cops don't get anywhere near as much media coverage as the bad cops. Fact. And any time that there's a bad cop, 
but they don't do something that's like within the realm of like the media has a problem with this at this particular moment in time. It never gets coverage. Never gets coverage. So, I find this amusing. There was a, a police officer in, in this town, in fact, that was sexually assaulting women on the side of the road. He was pulling them over and, and assaulting them. And they let him off. Our, our judicial system is such crap. Okay, like, because you'd be amazed at the kind of stuff that that they let go of. And then you'd be amazed at the stuff that they hold on to. You know, it really doesn't make much sense, but what does? So, I really get sick of people like defending these systems. I'm like, nine times out of the ten, the judicial system is complete crap. Nine times out of ten, the government is complete crap. Nine times out of ten, the fucking education system, really, really any system. Like, unless you have your own system, your own personal way of doing things. And it's gonna work because you know yourself, right? So you know what works best for you, I hope, I pray. But a system is so arrogant because you're just assuming, oh, these decisions are gonna work for everybody. And though the judicial system says that, oh, we look at everything on a case by case basis, that's not necessarily true. I have a friend of mine who's doing like seven years in, in prison because he supposedly raped somebody. He didn't rape anybody. She chose to have sex with him. It just sucks because she was underage. He should have known better than that. He's a fucking idiot for that shit. But he, he slept with an underage girl. She was like 17. And her dad found out about it. And the thing is, she was the one manipulating him. She was one following him around. Uh, he's got multiple witnesses to prove that, but he got a public defender because the motherfucker's broke. So because he got a public defender instead of lawyering up, I'm sure as shit he'd be a dead for like the rest of his life if he lawyered up. But at least he, he wouldn't be doing time in a federal prison for a rape that he didn't fucking commit. And then whenever he gets out, he won't be employable by fucking anybody. Because he'll be like a registered sex offender. It's just bullshit, man. It's bullshit. If you met if you met this kid, okay, he's like 30 something. I know what you're thinking, well, 30 something shouldn't be messing around with a 17 year old. What the fuck does age matter anymore? It's like in okay, in this day and age, we are like normalizing pedophilia. And don't think that that's a joke. I wish it was a joke. The only reason that they give a fuck about Epstein is because they can find a connection to this president. That's the only reason they're actually talking about it. A Democratic judge throughout the whole fucking thing. It's bullshit, man. It's like if you have money, money's power, you know? But I do think that for people that don't have money, that are satisfied not having money, such as myself, that it's like, that's power right there. That's like, ooh, either somebody was smoking really good weed or a skunk sprayed right over here. <laughs> but yeah, it's like, People that they're satisfied with whatever they have, those people have more power than billionaires that like run the world. Because there's a special place in hell for Jeffrey Epstein, let me tell you. Special place in hell for people to do shit like that.
Okay, right. Yeah, I don't know what you're doing. You can't hold your phone now because they'll fucking pull your ass over for that shit. Okay, I gotta, I gotta text him. Tell him I'm on my way, man. See, look what I'm doing, y'all. I am texting and I don't even have to look at my phone because I've memorized the keypad. How cool is that shit? I think it's pretty awesome. See, I've tried using an iPhone, like I try to use other people's iPhones to like uh, send messages or type something in. I feel so stupid. Now I know that if if I had one, I'd get used to it and I'd figure out how it works, but I don't want to. I want to continue to be ignorant about how smartphones work. Oh my God. <laughs> Sorry, a motherfucker was turning right, like I bitched about before. Okay, see, I'm turning left, and it's not going to take me anywhere near as much time to turn left as it took a motherfucker to turn right. <sighs> Fucking hate. <laughs> you have anger problems. <laughs> I do have anger problems, but at least I don't take them out on other people. But where the fuck am I? Okay, you guys. I'm at my dude's house. I'm gonna have to go. Sorry, I'm just making sure that I have all my money together. Don't wanna short him a 20. Next video.